guys? Welcome back to the Keep It Hoop YouTube channel. Today, I wanted to talk real quick about Anthony Davis's game against the Suns. If you guys don't know, the Lakers beat the Suns by 13, and Anthony Davis had himself 42 points, probably his best game of the season. I do think that he did some things differently, so we'll go over that real quick. Before we get started, though, if you could like, subscribe, share, and comment would mean a lot. Also, follow us on our social media pages. Links will be in the description below. So, right off the bat, here in the first quarter, the one thing you're going to notice on a lot of these is Anthony Davis is getting a pretty favorable matchup. The Suns don't have any great um, interior defenders. Like DeAndre Ayton's all right, but the Lakers like to play big. So he's often having to guard um, and box out and rebound with guys like Marc Gasol and Andre Drummond, who is on the court right now, which leaves Torrey Craig to be the main defender for Anthony Davis. Now, Torrey Craig is someone who, you know, a la Uffer guy, pretty solid defender, solid size, strength, athleticism, but just not on AD's level. And granted, not a lot of people are on AD's level. Um, so you see here, what ends up happening is that Torrey Craig ends up trying to front him. And I think there are times in the past where, it, you know, they just dumped the ball down to AD and trying to make him go one-on-one, -on -one, let him go ISO. And that's not necessarily the worst idea because he is a very talented player. But as is the case with any other stars or any off offensive guys, really, you want to make things easy, right? So the Lakers, what they do is right here they flash Andre Drummond up to the free throw line and then AD is going to go to the rim uh, for a little nice um, high low action and they get a really nice alley-oop out of this so really nice way to start off the game get your star a really nice look now you have to do things like this because Phoenix knows right let's just rewind a bit and look at who's on the court for the Lakers right so Phoenix knows that the guys on the court for the Atlanta you know, Lakers you have KCP Wesley Matthews Andre Drummond Alex Caruso and AD. So you know, right? Unlike when when they have LeBron out there, that this offense is going through AD. So, you know, just making him go one on one all the time is going to just make things harder for him. And I think that's when he becomes more prone to relying on the three point shot and or falling in love with the jump shot in general. And you know, I know Lakers fans or just AD fans in general can get a little frustrated at that because you know how talented and how many things he can do including posting up and playing as a traditional big right so he showcases the mid-range here you know they set a screen um, they end up trying to hedge it and he slips it real quick um, gets a wide open look Devin Booker can't come over Chris Paul can't you know really contest so those are the shots you want to see him taking if I'm being um, you know uh, if I'm trying to nitpick, I want AD to catch the ball a little bit lower, right? Possibly, you know, like around here, but still this is fine. And again, I think if if this was AD when he was freshly coming off of the injury, he might have just settled for the jump shot. Sees the mismatch though. And he also recognizes that a lot of the help is coming from his right side, right? Devin Booker's coming up. They are all coming from his right side. Mikhail Bridges, Chris Paul, Devin Booker. They're all paying attention to him, but coming from this side. Now, Frank Kaminsky is here, but we all know Frank Kaminsky isn't really a shot blocker, and AD acknowledges that, realizes that, and attacks not only Torrey Craig, but uh, Frank Kaminsky, and then gets a really nice floater to go here towards the rim. So again, instead of just making him, you know, just, just post up straight up, or just getting him to go ISO, continuing to make him... Um, a part of the action, so you get him easy looks, get him going towards the basket, another slip of the screen here. Him and Crusoe had really nice um, you know, chemistry yesterday, pulls off for a really nice fadeaway there with Mikhail Bridges not really being able to contest. So another thing I really, uh, really noticed about yesterday's game was the fact that Anthony Davis was attacking Dario Saric, attacking Frank Kaminsky, and he was doing it decisively. There are times when players, not just Anthony Davis, but players get the ball even if it's a mismatch and they just try to do too much with the ball. But instead he realizes he is able to realize this before he even gets the ball. So when he does get the ball, he just goes right at Dario Saric. And, um, you know, it's a tough matchup for Dario Saric, not athletic, not as strong, um, and just can't really do much. And this is what Lakers fans want to see, right? Anthony Davis calling for the ball with Frank Kaminsky on him, gets the ball with both feet in the paint, really just a foot outside of the restricted zone. Um, there's just really not much Frank Kaminsky can do here because AD has, just has so many moves in his bag that he can go to at this point. He has the hook, the fade away, the floater, can even you know drop down and dunk. Um, and he just goes to work here. Love the aggressiveness, the physicality, and the decisiveness. So I think you're going to see back-to-back -back plays here where you can kind of see AD's hesitancy to 
just rely on the jump shot here. You know, this is a shot he could have taken, maybe would have in the past, but instead gets to the KCP for a jump shot. And this one, the Suns um, on the next play end up playing good defense, but, you know, he's looking for his jump shot. It's not there, but instead of forcing it, gets it to Wesley Matthews, who hits a tough um, end of shot clock, three-point shot. You know, so these are the threes I'm fine with him taking, you know, off of a dribble penetration, kick out. Um, you know, DeAndre in a little bit late closing out, gets it to go. So we've literally seen a little bit of everything, right? We saw the three on the prior play. We saw some of the alley-oop action, the pick and pop, pick and roll, um, even the post up. Now he's able to just face up DeAndre Ayton, who's been a pretty good defender this year. You know, he's he's top five in pretty much shots uh, contested, two-pointers contested, three-pointers contested. It's been a big part of this Phoenix defense without people really acknowledging it. That being said, I'm fine with Anthony Davis. Um quote unquote settling or just going to the mid-range jump shot here because we've already seen him get easy looks you know post-ups dunks you can you know as you get your star player easy looks like that then he can start to catch fire and get shots like this to go where he really double clutches uh, was looking for the foul still gets it to go so you know good action there um and again the aggressiveness I love the fact that he wasn't shying away from it. You know, it's a tough shot. Really good defense by DeAndre Ayton. But again, once you get your star player, easy looks and gets that confidence up, then you can start knocking these shots up or shots down. And then you see him going off for 40, 50 points. So there are times when, and I know when AD's playing with LeBron, it's a different dynamic and the offense runs a little bit differently. But whether LeBron's not playing or he's just not on the court, I do want AD to be aggressive at all times. And it's not even just for himself. Yes, we've talked about his ability to score inside, outside, get to the line, knock down the free throws, really just score everywhere, right? But he's also, as someone who's been a former point guard when he was, I think, in high school, as someone who can, you know, really see the floor and pass well for his size, he's able to also get other guys involved if he stays aggressive, if he starts aggressive and the defense has to play him, um, you know, differently. Because right here, you know, Devin Booker's out here helping end of the quarter, um, a little bit of a missed defensive assignment for the Suns, and he finds Ben McLemore wide open in the corner, and they get to go really big three to end the quarter. This is just really simple action here. Again, Caruso and Anthony Davis, they've had pretty good chemistry, and it was on show last night. Um, just simple pick and roll. Nice catch by AD, and then gets it to go. And then you see here, what a way to end the night. Um, cap off your 42-point game, showing and proving to everyone that you are back and you are healthy. He has Anthony Davis on him really nice wrinkle to it it's it's interesting you re- usually don't see point guard flashing up to this area you also don't see centers out here too often but Marcus Gasol is a good passer he's also a decent enough shot uh, free throw shooter where it's fine for him to be out there um caruso again high iq play to flash up same play that we saw in the first clip um, of this video where you got the high low action um and, and devin booker just in no position to help on this um and anthony davis just gets a, a 180 hell you to finish off his big night but yeah like i said i love the fact that ad was aggressive i love that the lakers used him in a bunch of different actions not just allowing him to go um face up or iso or post up only but also putting him in things like the high low action using him in pick and pops pick and rolls um and his lack of reliance on the jump shot was really good to see looks healthy for sure and hopefully he can stay that way because obviously he's a big part of that team offensively and defensively. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll be back either tomorrow or Wednesday with another video. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment. I think we're over 300 subscribers now. Maybe we're at... Uh, I forgot. I have to look. But yeah, um, appreciate the support as always. Also remember to follow us on our social media pages. Links will be in the description below. Uh, but yeah, thanks again for watching. Peace.